Entrevistas Alfa. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to talk today with Chris Martin for Alpha 91.3. So, Chris, thank you for being here. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm very busy. And <laughs> very grateful to be busy. And um, we're just doing our final rehearsals for our tour, which somehow starts in one week, which mm -hmm. I thought would never, never, I thought it would never happen again. So I, <laughs> yeah. feel, I feel very excited and grateful. So my first question was uh, exactly about the tour. Music of the Spheres World Tour uh, has started. How do you feel after such a long time returning to the stage? Um, well, we've been on stage uh, ah. quite, quite a lot in rehearsal and we've done a few small shows. Mm -hmm. But we haven't done a big tour like this for nearly five years. So about three months ago, I felt a little nervous. But now I've been practicing so much that okay. now I just feel... I feel re ready to go. Perfect. So uh, how did Chris Martin spend all this time? And what is the word time for you? What is the word time for me? Yeah. What do you mean, Monica? The, what, what, do you, uh, what do you feel when you think about time and in this time? Oh, okay. Well, I feel uh, time as you get older becomes more and more precious. Mm -hmm. And um, also the freedom to choose what you do with your time becomes more and more precious. As you, especially as you look around the world and you see that so many people aren't free to choose mm -hmm. how they spend their time, it makes me feel extra lucky and extra grateful Yeah. Um, that most of the days I get to choose what to do mm -hmm. and most of the days I choose to do music and be in the band and I love it more than ever. And I think I love it more than ever because I know that one day, for, for whatever reason, we won't be able to do it anymore. So yeah. it feel, time feels very... It makes you feel very focused. Could it be said that you fulfilled your childhood dreams or what do you need to do? Um, well, that's a great question, Monica. I mean, on some level, yes. Mm -hmm. But on another level, I don't think I'll ever be satisfied with what we've done. I think I always okay. feel we can get better and that we can make something more entertaining or connect more people or meet more people or... I'm under no illusions of us having finished our mission. I think yeah. we have a long way to go. I think that we understand more and more that everything we do is supported by so many other people, our audience, and then our crew, and then people like you, and it's all one big team. So mm -hmm. it doesn't even feel like an achievement. It just feels like a, it feels like just a, a lot of teamwork. And it, okay. I feel grateful to be in the middle of it. So sorry for this question, but you are exactly the person to do <laughs> to do this. Um, uh, what does Chris Martin believe? Speaking of life spiritually, I feel that you are in constant search. I yeah. can per perceive that in in your records. It makes me laugh that you call me Chris Martin. Mm -hmm. I'm always looking for that. Mm -hmm. If you ask me right now, which you did, I would say um, I feel more and more connected to the idea of us all being connected okay. and no one is more no one is more special than anyone else or, or rather everybody is equally special and that an ant is as special as a mountain and that we're all here for some reason we might not understand but one thing i do feel very strongly is that we're all supposed to enjoy freedom and love and life itself mm -hmm. it's not it's not something that's reserved for a special few rich people or a, or a certain race or a certain place but okay. that life is a gift to everybody and should be you know we should treat each other equally okay You certainly have projects with everyone, but what about your collaborations with new generation like BTS or Selena Gomez recently? Yeah, well, those have been really fun and a real joy. <laughs> okay. Always with our collaborations, we, we wait to see what the song requires. You see mm -hmm. what I mean? We don't do a collaboration until the song is, exists. And okay. so I think what happens now is when we have a song that we feel would be a good duet or a collaboration, we just look around and we, th we think, well, who... Who would this really fit with? Mm -hmm. um, or in the case of BTS, someone had asked us to consider that collaboration, and then we just waited until the right song came along. Okay, and I, and I love it, but I, I also I love collaborating with anyone that we think is great, and that's yeah, I think sometimes new people, sometimes old people, sometimes famous, yeah. people, sometimes not famous people. <laughs> we can see that, yeah. yeah, yeah, we can see that. 
And speaking of let let somebody go, the video seems to show different re, different realities of worlds. Like I know Christopher Nolan's Inception, mm -hmm. Inception's field. But uh, what is the intention or oh, the, the 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 two sides of the story or? Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, I, I I feel like with anything artistic, you, you you are free to have your own opinion. For me, that video is about the fact that any interaction or any relationship mm -hmm. is seen from two different people's eyes, and you can never quite see things the same way. Okay. And that's sometimes a beautiful thing, and sometimes that leads to problems. And so that's how I see it. It's just like you're on the same world, but it's also not quite the same world as everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's a good song. Uh, Thank it's you. It's nice, very beautiful. So, what does Mexico mean to Coldplay, and which Mexican band or artist would you like to do a collaboration? Well, I don't want to name just one because I'd like to be open-minded. But what does Mexico mean? I mean, it's very, very special for us. We're we're well aware how lucky we are to come and play there. We've been doing shows in Mexico now for a long time, mm -hmm. and it's. It's hard to put into words. It feels like Christmas is coming. That's what it feels like. Okay. I don't, I mean, you're Mexican, so you maybe don't feel it because you're there all the time. If you're a visitor, the first thing you notice, especially if you're in a band, is just this uh, warm, excited energy that just makes us feel amazing. I mean, we would play there all the time if we were, if we could, but there are other Perfect. places to love too. But uh, I mean, we're going to play there, what, in two weeks or three weeks? And my body just feels like Christmas is coming. Perfect. We will see you in, in April. And um, thank you very much for your okay, time, Monica. Chris. Okay. Thank you very much. You okay. Mucho gusto. See you okay. soon. Hasta pronto. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Entrevistas Alpha.